Welcome to the STEM Academy Early Middle College partnership with Baker College and Mott Community College, along with Elmont, Dryden, Emily City, North Branch, and the Lapeer County Intermediate School District. Earlier today, we had the privilege to be involved with a transition camp for the incoming junior students. We went through an overview of the STEM Academy, we introduced the college experiences and degrees. We introduced expectations of the seminar on success. We had words of wisdom provided by STEM ambassadors and our current students. We introduced Baker's College online application, and we provided an icebreaker to introduce the students to other students in the transition camp. A quick introduction of the STEM Academy. Students will be in high school and college at the same time. They are still able to walk with their graduating class during graduation. They can play in sports and be in other extracurricular activities. Their diploma will have the fifth year date. Tuition, books, and fees are free to the family. They will earn dual credit for college classes. The transportation will be provided for them in their junior and senior year. We also discussed weather and other days. So weather days when we have inclement weather and the student would not be coming into STEM or other district days. The students are still responsible as in a college life to still provide the homework that is due or get the class assignments on those days. Here's how the STEM Academy works. In their first year as a junior, they would earn six general education classes. They would also be involved in seminar and success where they would begin career exploration, some community service, and begin self-awareness and develop soft skills. For the 2018-19 junior year, as a traditional model STEM Academy student, in their fall term, they would take English Comp 1 and earn three credits, oral communication and earn three credits. That is in the fall term. In the winter term, they take English Comp 2 and General Psychology, both also three credits apiece. In the spring term, they will participate in Sociology and Economics, also earning three credits per class. In the second year as a senior, they would earn six to seven general education classes, also participating in seminar and success. In the senior year, they have a declaration of continuation in the STEM Academy. They continue their career exploration and community service hours. These are MEMCA requirements. They determine their program of study for the fifth year, and they begin their capstone project, a requirement. In the fifth year or the third year of the STEM Academy, the student would be at Baker College or Mott Community Campus. They would be involved in their coursework of their program of study. They would have to successfully complete a math course or an equivalent. They would still be responsible for the MEMCA requirements of the career exploration and community service hours. They would still participate in Seminar on Success, and they would present their capstone. Here is an overview of the fifth year high school graduation requirements. Successful completion of the Michigan Merit Curriculum, math or related math class. Successful completion of a minimum of 15 college credits. Successful completion of a combination of 70 plus hours of career exploration and the community services. That was that MEMCA certificate. They would have to be completing a capstone project of the early college program experience where I started the three year journey and where this experience has taken me and present it to their high school administration staff. Transfer of credit. This transfer of credit we always base upon the receiving college's policy. For some reason, if a student changes their major degree, 
and they've taken college courses that revolve around health science, but they're going into a business degree, those health science classes may not be a necessary requirement for a business degree. Some courses that are offered are intended to help a career choice. Here's the introduction to college, the type of degrees earned in college. For a certificate, it's approximately 30 plus credits. For an associate's degree, it's approximately 62 plus credits. For a bachelor's degree, it's approximately 120 plus credits. For a master's degree, it's approximately 36 plus credits on top of the bachelor's degree. For a specialist degree, it's also approximately 36 plus credits on top of a bachelor's. And for a doctorate degree, it depends on the discipline. Let's discuss limited enrollment programs. Limited enrollment programs are typically in the health science disciplines. The state of Michigan limits the number of grads in that particular program. The programs have a very rigid requirement that needs to be met. Specific program criteria. Acceptance into a program may depend on any of the following. A grade point average, core course grades, Kaplan exam, or a TEAS exam. A little bit of information about contact time and credit hours. Contact time equals the hours per week a class will meet, including lecture and lab. A credit hour is the credits earned towards a degree. Here are some expectations at completion. An occupational certification is possible. An associate's degree is possible, work towards a bachelor's degree a collection of credits for transferring, a MEMCA certification, and high school completion. Let's discuss a little bit about the Seminar on Success. There are three components for the Seminar on Success. The first one being navigating your future, the second, personal responsibility, and the third, the development of skills. We also provide an educational development plan for each student. Seminar on Success meets on Wednesday of every week, the same time block as the Baker classes for your student. We do things such as development of skills. We reference reflection and self-evaluation of the work, continuous improvement, opportunity for academic support, we do a lot of career exploration and community service hours, and we monitor the progress of your student. Here are some words of wisdom for success. Understanding how college classes differ from high school classes. We have students talk about this with our incoming junior students. They also talk about study skills and having a study buddy. They talk about understanding a course syllabus, meeting deadlines, time management, and what happens when a student procrastinates. They talk about the online learning environment, Canvas versus Skyward or PowerSchool. They talk about seeking help as they need it. And they also talk about the attendance, how it's so important for students to stay in contact with their instructor, instructor and not miss any college days, if at all possible. We do four parent meetings in the 2018-19 school year. The first parent meeting is Tuesday, October 23rd, 2018 at 6 p.m. at the local Education and Technology Center. The next one is Tuesday, December 4th, 2018, also 6 p.m. at the Lapeer County Education Technology Center. Tuesday, February 5th, 2019. Tuesday, May 14th, 2019. We discuss an overview of the plan and topics and what the communication protocol is. 
During the STEM Academy orientation, we had STEM parents and students sign the parent and student agreement that lays out what the expectations are for each. We also had parents and students take a look at the FERPA requirement. We provided information about the handbook from Baker College and the Lapeer County Intermediate School District. We talked about the network release between Baker College and Lapeer County Intermediate School District and the media release for Baker College and Lapeer County Intermediate School District. If you have any questions regarding the STEM Academy, please contact the STEM Academy advisor, Dawn Mosier at dmosier at lapeerisd.org or you can call Dawn at 810-245-3983. Thank you.